Hi students, in today's session, we will discuss on special types of chromosomes. Under the heading special types of chromosome, you have to study the first type is polytene chromosomes. This polytene chromosome was first observed by E.G. Balbiani and uh, he observed this type of chromosomes in the salivary glands and later in, uh, after some years another scientist named Painter uh, he along with his co-workers he discovered this same type of special chromosomes in the salivary glands of Drosophila and he studied <coughs> its structure in detail. So he found the structural detail. This is an example of uh, this is how a uh, polytin chromosome occur like. Here you can see chromosome number 3, left arm, right arm and left arms are here. Chromosome number 2 is here. X chromosome and chromosome number 4 is also here. So this is how all these chromosomes are connected at this chromocenter. This is the region where you can see the region where the two homologous chromosomes are being separated and this is a detailed structure of a polytene chromosome from Drosophila. Here you can clearly see there are striations right and these striations are uh, they represent dark bands and light bands. These dark colored bands and the space between two consecutive dark bands they are the light bands or we call it as the interbands interbands and dark bands so polytin chromosomes are characterized by the presence of dark bands and interbands and at specific regions you can see the enlarged portions or we call it as puffs chromosome puffs and these are the regions where the it is active genes or actively expressing genes are located and their active transcription is being carried out at this region only so we call this region as chromosome puff or as it was uh, first discovered by E.G. Balbiani we also name call it as Balbiani rings so this is an ex extended view of a Balbiani ring here you can see the chrom chromatins and dark bands and interbands are also clearly visible here so this is all about a polytin chromosome so polytin chromosomes are found in drosophila or any other invertebrates lower in uh, lower invertebrate invertebrates or lower vertebrates and uh, it was eg balbiani who first discovered this and later was uh, were more studied by painter and his co-workers and these are characterized by the presence of these are large chromosomes they are greater in size when compared to the normal chromatin or the normal somatic chromosomes so why these are larger in size these are larger in size because they are formed by a large number of chromatins which are not separated why they are not separated they are not separated because the replication process is not being followed by the cell division so repeated replication occurs without cell division when repeated replication occurs more and more number of chromosomes will be formed in the same nucleus so all these chromosomes will be located in the same nucleus without undergoing any cell divisions so that we call that process we call as endo reduplication that process is called endo reduplication and this repeated division occurs approximately about 10 times repeatedly and so the thickening uh, in increases and we observe these chromosomes as large chromosomes hence the name we call it them as under the category giant chromosomes so that is all about
polyteen chromosomes i am sharing the notes please go through it